What's up, everybody? It's V-Man1313, and welcome to today's Overlanding Trailer Ride. So today we're out to test out the overlanding trailer, my 4x8 enclosed trailer that I purchased to turn into a overlanding trailer. Not an off-road trailer per se, but a overlanding trailer. Obviously I needed it to do off-road, but I'm not trying to do the Rubicon or some kind of crazy trail with it. I just needed to do normal stuff and when I'm in a pinch or I need to get over some nasty stuff I need, a, I need for it to be able to do that but that's not the purpose and intent of it. If you watch the uh, Georgia Adventure Trail video that I created, uh, the trail that I created and then I made a video of that trail for my first ride on it, I had went down to South Georgia and purchased the trailer and then used it to go back home up the Georgia Adventure Trail that goes from Florida to North Carolina or Tennessee depending on where you want to go and it worked well considering I had just bought it and took it out and that's it some of the downfalls of it were it, it didn't have that much clearance obviously it's a cargo trailer and number two it uh, had it wasn't very airtight that it's not that it's gonna get completely airtight but it was very bad where everything got dusty and so I've worked on both of those things as well as added solar power and a battery and a power inverter and I've added some shelves and storage and things like that. I also lifted it. I gained about three and a half, three and a quarter to three and a half inches on the trailer. So I've got a good bit of clearance for the most part. The axle obviously is still very low, but the trailer itself now is very high. So you know you take one or the other so I got one <laughs> I got it I got it so it's it's working it worked out good so far um, the videos are backwards gonna be backwards I'm actually now it's 11 o'clock and I'm looking for a lunch spot but you're gonna kind of see it backwards as now you're gonna watch me going to go have breakfast and this and that the reason for that is because my microphone, I'm still testing out microphones for the for the Garmin and I have not found what I needed. And in fact, it didn't even work. I bought this huge uh, dongle, <laughs> I said dongle, I bought a huge dongle, this dongle that's supposed to give you uh, the ability to plug in a microphone and a USB to charge and a video out and all this stuff and I can't get it to I, it just doesn't do what I want it to do I can't get it to work yet so I'm gonna mess around with that today at camp and see what we can do with it that's why you're inside with me right now but today's goal was just to bring out the trailer and test it out that's it that's all I wanted to bring out all my toys and all my fun stuff and so when you see the trailer in the video and you see the whole rig you're gonna see my kayak and my fishing stuff and my mountain bike and everything everything that I could bring to go out and have fun I brought now that does not mean that every time I go out in this car this is the way it's gonna be loaded I want to see what kind of options I'm going to have when I go out. 
and that's why I'm doing it. So my first goal, which I've already met, my goals for today were to go out and get, there's a spot that you've seen me make quite a few videos on where I review things or uh, show off the new vehicle I've bought or whatnot, close to home. And I wanted to get there and have breakfast. That way I could cross the creek with the, with the trailer and take it off road for less than 10 miles with still being close to home in case the kayak mounts do not hold up under you know rough situations in case the bicycle doesn't work where it's at in case the trailer itself is having issues anything I wanted to test it out that way and, and that step one has happened and here check it out And here we are and good morning they put a swing with a thing that's pretty cool that's new since last time I came let me show you what we're doing today <laughs> right <laughs> 